Hello everybody, welcome to the Joel Mission where today I review Lego Creator Set 31091, the 3-in-1 shuttle transporter with 341 pieces. Hello everybody, I'm Joel Homie, you are guys the host for today's video, where today I review LEGO Creator Set 31091, the 3-in-1 shuttle transporter with 341 pieces recommended for ages 7 and up. Now today's video will be following the same guidelines as my recent review videos, starting with a box overview, the unboxing, looking at the instruction manual, and then the rest of the contents on the box, a time-off speed build, and then at the end we will take a look at the three different builds that you can build with the set, but be warned you can only build one with the included pieces, not all three. So let's go ahead and get started with the box overview. Of course, starting at the front, so as usual, off to the left side we have our set information, there is the nice visual there in the center, and then off to the right side we do actually have the images for the other two versions of the set that you can build, so I will be showing this version first at the end, and then this will be the second version that I show, and then this will be the third version that I show. And then here on the back of the box, as usual, do, we do have some more visuals of things that you can do with the set. So it shows the actual uh, spacecraft right there, which you can sort of eject the, a, a little sort of satellite. And then there is the sort of uh, semi-slash-trailer there on the floor. And then up here, you do actually have, as I said, the third version that I will be showing. And then here on the bottom right, you do have it, what it will be the second version I show. And then here on the top, bottom, and left and right side of the box, I will do a pause and read segment. So there is the top of the box with your actual size there off to the right. And then here is the bottom with the proof of purchase there in the bottom right. Here is the right side of the box. And here is the left side of the box right there. And to open this, all you need is a shop item, such as a sort of a multi-purpose tool, which for today's video, I will be using my Ozark Trail multi-purpose tool here. So all you have to do to open the box is take a look at the back, and you can actually just sort of cut the tape with a knife. But at this point, you can dump out the contents on the inside of the box, and at this point, if you would like to, you can throw away the box. But as I had mentioned, I will, or sort of as I implied, I will be keeping it to store this set. And then there is our three bags, label, actually, creator sets I forget are actually not labeled with numbers usually. And then here is our instruction manual, as you can see there, with the main build there in the center, and then our two ones off to there. And then for the speed build, I will actually go ahead and do some jump cutting. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get building.
right then, here we are with the finished LEGO Creator Set 31091, or at least this is sort of like the main version of what is going to be the first version that I take a look at. And of course, this is the one with the semi, the trailer, as well as the space shuttle back there. I'm going to go ahead and start this off by taking a look at the semi, and then I will move to the space shuttle last. So let's go ahead and start with the actual semi. Now, taking the trailer off there, which actually doesn't have any little legs there, so it won't set up by itself. But the semi, in my opinion, does look very nice. We have a uh, sort of dark maroon and red and white sort of color scheme going on. And then the overall size of this is not minifig scaled. So as you can see, compared to uh, my sig fig here, it is definitely not meant for minifigures. But it is still quite nice as I had a sort of... Um, I was thinking earlier, this would make a very nice sort of a shelf warmer as a sort of just addition to basically any shelf as it is quite small. But as you can see here, even with the considered size, we do have a bit of detailing in here with the smokestacks right there going up on either side. And then we do have our sort of air horns up there on top. There is our cabin using that 1x4 and the two 1x2 two sort of a uh, tinted see-through bricks there and then here on the front we have a bumper a little bit of a grill with some headlights going on and then here on the back we have another grill for the rear bumper nothing too uh, interesting going on there and then this uh, semi build and since this is the main intended build it does use all of the larger variation of wheels that you get and the trailer does actually end up using these smaller ones and then back here you have your hitch and a little vent back there and with that being said, there is the semi. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite parts out of this. But of course, the space shuttle is really cool. But right before we take a look at that, we have to take a quick look at the trailer, which is actually what you use to haul around the space shuttle. So as you can see here, with the way that you build it, it is actually meant to a sort of accommodate the space shuttle by the front sort of wheel slipping into that little uh, cutout there. And then the rear wheels actually sitting around this sort of rear setup going on back there with a, a raised platform and then the overall uh, color scheme of this is obviously a bit of a dark blue and then you have some light blue there and then a bunch of this is also dark gray and then as i had mentioned earlier you do have the smaller variation of wheels with these sort of uh, white rims on the inside there whereas the ones on the semi are actually gray so as you can see they are different there and then unlike the semi the rear bumper is a bit more interesting with a couple of headlight or excuse me tail lights but that's just about it and that is the semi and its trailer which you can also if you want to actually move the hitch so you can either have it like this or if you want to uh, sort of compact a little bit more you won't actually be able to move the trailer as much but you can get it to uh, sit in a little bit of a closer radius to the semi and you do lose a little bit of the sort of uh, look I guess as it does look a bit unrealistic being so close to each other but you can move the clip around across those uh, two little cutouts there. And then last but definitely not least here is the shuttle here which um, I sort of uh, made it sound a little bit like this is the last thing that we'll look at but this is the only the last thing that we'll look at for this variant and after this we will move on to the second version and then of course the third version after that. But here is the shuttle as you can see it is Mostly white like uh, you might expect and then the top of these uh, sort of wing bits off to the sides are actually white But here on the bottom the base does actually end up being black with your wheels there And these front and back molds are actually a bit different Which I will go over in just a moment when we move to the bottom in a bit more detail And then moving or to the front here where we're actually going to sort of officially start You have a bit of a rounded off design obviously for like aerodynamics and things like that You can imagine whatever you'd like to but you do have a bit of greebling on either side it's the same on the right and left side there is the cabin which i, I think turned out absolutely amazing with those three one by one sort of uh sloped tiles that are sort of the tinted see-through one that we saw on the or at least the same sort of color or see-through tint sort of uh th that we saw in the semi and then right behind that we do actually have some sort of panels that can open and this is where you actually have a little bit of a boom and this is the little satellite that you get pretty simple build there nothing too absolutely uh, special but you can actually end up clipping this onto this little boom and make it look like it is either sort of like pulling the satellite out of space or is actually sort of a uh, pushing it into space to get ready to orbit the um, earth whatever you'd like to uh, imagine the space shuttle is doing and what i really like about this is it is quite sturdy so if you wanted to pose this 
it'd be quite easy to do so. And then, of course, the inside of the shuttle it does have a little bit of a cutout to accommodate this little satellite, which can just fit in there nicely. And then the boom actually does end up being sort of like a arm for actually holding it in place and not wobbling around too much. And then, obviously, these doors on the side do also help keep it in. And then the wings do have a couple little vents off the sides there. These are the black variant. You do actually get some light gray ones as well. And then here on the back is sort of like our thrusters. And then you have what appear to be smaller thrusters. I'm not exactly sure. I am um, no expert on the sort of space shuttle design and what these actually are. But these do seem to be smaller thrusters or something along those lines in my eyes. And then right here we have the tail fin. This is just the generic one that we've seen in many other sets before. And then the three main thrusters do have a bit of sort of detailing showing that the engines are actually sort of uh, powered and giving off sort of like a fire or something like that, whatever you like to imagine. But you do have three of them. And personally, when I look at this, all I can really think is speakers. Those kind of look like Lego speakers that some people have built and actually some official Lego sets. But um, do be informed, those are actually supposed to be thrusters and definitely not speakers. But moving to the bottom and a little bit more detail on what I was talking about earlier with the different molds this front one does actually have a wheelbarrow sort of wheel going on there and then these back molds do actually have the other um sort of color of smaller rim for the smaller wheel that you get these ones being the light gray variants and of course the ones there on the semi actually being the white variants but the ones here do have the uh, mold that allow you to put two on either side and then this does allow it to roll around nicely you um it's a little bit sort of rough on a hard surface but I'm pretty sure it is mainly intended to be sitting on the semi as that has the sort of tires. And uh, that is the sort of first version. And with that, here is the second build that you can make with the pieces in the set. So as you can see, this one is sort of like a truck with a bit of a flatbed. And then on top, you actually have a little bit of a helicopter. And then, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the truck first. And then I'll move to the helicopter. And after that, we will, of course, move to the third build. So as you can see, uh, the cabin is mainly white and the flatbed, of course, has a lot of blue there. This is using the larger sort of a version of wheel that you actually get in this set. Got a little bit of a slope going on down there. Got a bit of a grill and some headlights up there at the front. This is using that see-through sort of tinted 1x4 see-through brick. And then inside the cabin, oddly enough, you can actually sort of uh, get a little bit of room in there. Although the cabin, as you just sort of saw me struggling, is not removable. And then we are actually using one of the uh, sort of rods that actually is included in, in this set. It's the see-through blue one, which does look a little bit weird from the back. But it is uh, it does give a bit of structural integrity to that little smokestack. And then moving back, of course, we do have the flatbed area with a little bit of a setup to actually hold the helicopter in place. As you can see there, it does just slip in place nicely and it just sort of stays. So if you're driving this thing around and you're wobbling it, it won't fall off very easily as it does lock in fairly nicely. And then you do have dual axles on the back and a single set of axles on the front. And then on the back, you just have a little bit of a uh, tail light set up there. And then moving to the helicopter, obviously, um, this is using the red, uh, well, the maroon and the red pieces that are used uh, or that come with the set as well. You have a bit of a side thing going on with a bit of slope, slopage there. And then you have the sort of uh, cockpit there. A little bit of a front. I do like that piece being used there. It does give a nice sort of a uh, bit of character to the build. And then here you have the tail fin going out there with a little bit of a light on the end. And then you have your main sort of a prop there right on top which does just use that sort of a classic bit that right there is a modified uh, two by four with the sort of uh, bit there for the pin that uh, allows this to connect which has been used for all sorts of helicopters including this one and then you have a couple lights on the back and with that being said let's go ahead and move on to the third build which, as you can see, is actually the smallest version of the set that you can actually build and gives you the most amount of spare pieces, which is a quite generous amount. If you do decide to build this, you get a nice little build that you could put in a shelf. Or maybe if you're, I don't know, have like a micro-sized Lego City based on these little uh, micro-sized creator builds, you could stick this in, well, 
a, a city or something like that. I don't know. If I were to do something with this, though, I would probably end, it, end up sticking it on a shelf as a little display piece. But as you can see, this is the build. It gives you sort of like a little uh, SUV, and you do get a little rounded off sort of a white little uh, just trailing trailer, I guess. This you can actually disconnect fairly easy. You do uh, just clip it onto the rear of the truck there. So I'll go ahead and go over the little truck first. So as you can see, we have a pretty basic design with some dark blue and the light blue. And then got a little bit of a grill going on up the front with a couple headlights. And then uh, pretty much the same goes for the back of obviously with the clips for the trailer. And then up top, you actually have sort of what looks like a little bit of a... Uh, AC sort of unit, I guess. I'm not really sure what you could call that. I was about to say it kind of looks like maybe stuff that's strapped to the uh, top of the uh, roof, but I really don't know. And then we do have a little bit of side detailing just with some of these uh, modified 1x2s. And then these wheels are the larger variant that you actually get in the set. And then the inside obviously is pretty plain with not much in there. And then as for the trailer, it is uh, about the same size as the truck, or maybe a little bit smaller. But you do have the sort of uh, little hitch there. And then there you can see sort of like the uh, main frame. I believe this is actually 8 studs long if I'm not mistaken. And then this is using the smaller wheel. Uh, variant that you get in the set and the mass majority of this is uh well obviously white and then you do have sort of like uh some vent maybe ac units once again on the sides these do look a little bit more like that you've got a little window there a very small window and then you have some little black stripes on either side there you got some lights and a grill there and then you obviously do have this bit of a uh, rounded off sort of design and then well i didn't really notice it earlier but you do have some little steps on either side so maybe these are little doors maybe this is like a screen or something like that but that is the third version of the set and with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I definitely enjoyed making this, even while it was a bit time-consuming to have to construct each different version and show it to you guys. But in the end, I'm glad I did because it was nice getting to see the different variations that you guys can build with this set. But with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video...